G'day ladies and gentlemen, this is Voyager the Second here. Today we are back with another episode of Interstate Public Transport Showcases. In today's episode, we are going to the city of Geelong to analyse a proposed 23km light rail alignment, as well as outline a 60km local passenger train service for Geelong. Geelong is the second largest city in Victoria and is a rapidly growing city. It is important that we cater the infrastructure for a growing population. So it is recommended that we implement these proposed transport systems for Geelong. Now, we will first outline the local passenger train service, then we will look in detail at the light rail. So, without further ado, let us outline the local train service. The local train service will be a 60 km alignment from Avalon Airport through the Geelong Line, through to downtown Geelong and onto the Bellarine Line and all the way to Queenscliff. The reason we do not need to look at the line in detail is that most of the line already exists. The only works that need to be taken however to implement a local train service in Geelong require the electrification of the entire alignment restoration of the 33.5 km Bellarine line, highlighted in red, new tracks to Avalon Airport, highlighted in white, and some duplications shown in yellow, just that small patch right there, as well as some rolling stock. The implementation of a local passenger service will mean a healthy and more reliable mode of transport, rather than the bus or the car. There is going to be new, well-designed communities surrounding the proposed stations where there is no significant community surrounding the station at the moment. And it will also provide a good mode of rail service, a good rail service to Avalon Airport. Now if you've been wondering why the branch to Avalon Airport is shaped in a Y-Link, I also plan to use Avalon Airport for Melbourne commuters. If you recognise that Geelong and Corio stations are locked in capital letters, they will be the only stations that will be operated by V-Line services during the daytime once the local trains begin revenue service. V-Line services will bypass the other stations during the daytime, though they might use the smaller stations at nighttime. So anyway guys, that's it for the local passenger rail service, now on to the light rail. The 23km Geelong light rail will run from the Corio Transport Interchange to Deakin University via the Midland Highway, downtown Geelong and Belmont's High Street. This light rail pro project promises to make Geelong a more pedestrian friendly city, bring communities closer together, delivering jobs to the city as well as promoting high rise growth for both commercial, residential, as well as employment growth, vertical growth. Lightwell will also open up three pedestrian-friendly commercial precincts at West Geelong, Belmont, and downtown Geelong itself. The colour coding scheme for this project is as it follows. Stations in blue icons are where you can change for the train. Stations with yellow words mean that they need to be renamed. All other stations are in purple with white letters. However, we must consider the fact that some roads are quite narrow, so the construction of the light rail line may lead to disruptions. But enough of that. Without further ado, let's begin at Deakin University. Light rail will begin at Deakin University. On the footsteps of the campus entry, the tracks are going to be laid on the southern side of Alfred Deakin Drive, then, it will turn right and run parallel to Pigdens Road for a few hundred metres before converging onto the centre of the Princess Highway. There are two stations nearby each other, the Ponds and Grovedale, which will primarily serve the shops around them, but it will also serve some of the residential areas surrounding the shops and the proposed stations. The next, stop on, the next stops on this line are going to be Barwon and Settlement Road, 
Bar one will serve a few amenities around. Settlement road will serve houses surrounding the, inter the intersection of Colac Road and Settlement Road and it could also bring some high-rise development around this intersection. Just note that some stops, but if not every stop, will cater bicycle racks for cyclists to dismount so that they can dismount and park their bicycles and take the tram anywhere, anywhere in Geelong, maybe except for the western part. The next two stops on this line are in the Belmont Commercial Precinct. High Street between Roslyn and Mount Pleasant Roads will be closed and restricted to pedestrian traffic and light rail vehicles only. This will make the street more vibrant and more pedestrian friendly so that the streets can be more accessible to pedestrians and more pedestrians can access the, the commercial precinct and walk through the precinct a lot more easily without any disruption of car traffic and the business and businesses can make a lot more money with pedestrians walking past the shops the tracks will then continue along high street which then becomes Murrabool street it will cross the barwon river before making its way onto cardinia park the cardinia park stop will serve primarily the cardinia park which consists of simon stadium and some other sporting facilities which can which are huge, large enough to support any special events. McKillop Street will be the next stop on this line. It will serve the southern part, mainly the southern part of, of downtown Geelong. And then the line will enter a pedestrian zone inside the CBD of Geelong. Little Mallop is the main stop in Geelong as it is the primary service station for people who have who want to do shopping and other cultural activities inside the Geelong CBD. Geelong Interchange is the next stop on this line. Its primary purpose is to serve as an interchange stop for commuters who want to change for V-Line and local Geelong rail services. It will also serve as a stop for the civil precinct. The next stop on the line is at Coronation Street which will serve a few workplaces. This stop, however, needs to be renamed as it is highlighted in yellow. The next two stations are Town Hall and Packington Strand, which are stops in the West Geelong Commercial Precinct. Traffic will be restricted from using Packington Road between Autumn Street and Waterloo Street, as this section of road will only be used by pedestrians and light rail. Now the next four stops West Oval, Parkwood, Hamlet North and Malcolm Street are going to be mainly there for coverage but these stops could also give way for development, developers and high-rise development. Malcolm Street, as it is highlighted in yellow, will need to be renamed. Bell Park, North Geelong and Ford stations will have the purpose of serving a few businesses and workplaces surrounding the station. Light rail will then continue running along the centre of the Princess Highway. Nor Lane is another residential stop, just like Malcolm Street, and it will also allow developers to, to buy some of these houses and convert them into high-rise development, with also some shops downstairs. It's going to be the same with Water World, but it also serves a recreational facility near the station. The tracks will then deviate from the Princess Highway and run on the western side of Bakus Marsh Road where there will be a stop at Corio Village. Now there is a shopping centre here but there should also be some high-rise development surrounding the shopping village as well. The tracks will then turn east along Pernal Road, on the centre of Pernal Road actually, and another stop will be placed at Handy Street which is also going to be renamed. It will then cross the Princess Highway again and continue along Refinery Road and then head north and run parallel along the Geelong Railway Line before making its final stop at the Corio Interchange. At, at the Corio Interchange, passengers can alight and change for V-Line services to Melbourne and Warrnambool as well as local train services to Avalon Airport downtown Geelong and Queenscliff. There's also a main, 
there's also a maintenance facility up the line where light rail vehicles can get maintained and then also the choreo interchange the train station will also be rebuilt to allow for light rail commuters to change as well as make better pedestrian access so there you have it fellas a 60 kilometer local train line for Geelong and a light rail line for Geelong these projects will cater for a growing population tackle housing affordability the housing affordability crisis in Melbourne as well as the congestion and it will also improve the lives of many residents anyway guys I'm gonna wrap this up don't forget to subscribe to the channel like and favorite and possibly even share the video i will see you next time goodbye for now